underway at the right time. Oh, I think they should have lost some of their time. Problem for John Schoffner in that Pro Am entered SP9 car. There's also problems for one of the BMWs. He's uh, behind the wall um, towards the back of the paddock. The rain we had been expecting has arrived and it's caught out one of the BMW. Our recognition is still well off, so I'm actually quite pleased with that. Yes, it's it's just in the back, of the back of the car. So Ferrari going in as well. That's the Octane car, isn't that it? That is the Octane 55. Yeah. 50 floor through the radiators. That rise where they often see the... And in fact, that's where the uh, KCMG Nissan has lost it. Is that Kittlebacker Hoare, Paul, technically speaking? Uh, yes, I think so. Um, so and another, that's where the, that's another high section, as in Hoare Act is the... Uh, where? Schwalbenschwan, sorry. Right. Didn't... You were you didn't. driving it, but now has been handed over to uh, the right page. Carnival one 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 is uh, in sixty fifth place at the moment, fourth was, in the SP eight T class. That was at the chicane, right at the start of the lap. And how frustrating must that feel? Although, of course, in this mode of the week, it only requires you to complete the Grand Prix track reception for Lucas Lures of the Mercedes as Rene Rast um, did Rene is a oh. uh, um, former winner of the race of course but oh. there's another fairly big also shows clearly quite excess excessive front end damage yeah. on the 59 Porsche garden so it's just out out of Brunchen just an incredible amount of vehicles now on the track in this code 60 with lorries left and right recovering the damaged cars hello to marcel duke as we have an audi 14. r8 it's the 14. get the brakes for and get into arenberg that's not hanging around is it through the left hander there i was saying that that to me oh, is um 70 miles an hour quickly as you possibly can and an eight Van Sander, right front puncture oh. right front puncture coming down the dottinger hood if you're listening down there uh, in the south of France. Good afternoon to you. Another personal best early on. Meantime, the number 78 rent to drive. As if you fall off there. Um, but uh... I think it was just a bit of over eager right foot. I wonder if the 110 had just come out the pits actually. Because it may have been that uh, that car, yeah, just a big spin coming out of it. And one of the BMWs having to take very clever avoiding action meanwhile a couple of corners further back George Tresson in the one of Volkenholz motorsport car Ooh, spoke the same way I don't know uh, oh, he's got, and we've got two cars coming from the M8 um, but all cars are super fun to drive the GT4 is a super good uh, race car very good customer car the M8 is the ultimate GT car and then the M6 is uh, yeah I think we don't need to to lose too many words about it. It's it's an incredible, it's an incredible, incredible, incredible machine. Now I got it out. Uh, so all I cars you were just are really four good. Incredibles because it is. So <laughs> um, obviously, I think it's a bit more difficult to get in uh, into the top 30 shootout. Oh, there is a little off. Yes, for the Rooster Rojo Get Speed Performance Mercedes, which loses it. But uh, come and have another, another quick word as well, because it'll be great to uh, update our listeners on how those BMWs racing drivers and, and we we're sit not. Here. Uh, the foxtail is off at the oh, no. side of the track. That's the Manta. Would you believe? There we go. Uh, we've also got a slow Hyundai out on East though now. Yeah. In and it class. is indeed a right rear puncture Hans. as he was coming down into Brunchen, I think. And this sequence of corners gets tighter and tighter. Oh, and he's sliding oh. wide. He's almost he's lost, lost it. it. He has lost it. He has lost it. I was just about to say, you know, people ignore the Grand Prix circuit because we always talk about it's really going to hurt his time. And the reason is we've got a slow moving AMG, Johnny. Just Kevin Estra is on another good lap. And just a moment or two ago, going very wide indeed. As he heads over the top of the rise just before Brunchen. Yeah, lost the car. No point in uh, even continuing, frankly, <laughs> indeed. So I'm just still trying to work out the right-hander, yeah, Brun seventh as a result, the Ferrari next to it. And the 37 Aston Martin is struggling to get started. Is this an issue with the rear right? Yeah, it's pouring fluid from the rear right corner now, or is that just smoke? No, it's definitely fluid. Race, Johnny, and yep. 
no indication yet of a well, looking out the window actually it's quite a lot more cloud but no indication of any uh, chicane on the Grand Prix Stranger the number two Mercedes going very deep Kevin Estra seems to be able to put position that car anywhere he wants on the track and yeah. gain time it's incredible to see that Manti Porsche car number 911 just seems so at ease with where it is the number one of Patrick Pelia I'm sure is going to start mounting a challenge as well and coming on terms ah, and uh, I can confirm that all for Mercedes did have a spin. It's a Manti car as is the sister machine behind Patrick Pile in the number one car and in fourth position the 31 of Matt Campbell but he's about nine and a half ladies. Seventh position for the number four Pierre Caffer driven Audi of Team Phoenix. That's an and this will have been thought about by the teams overnight. Slightly off track moment there for the pros in the 44 Mercedes, uh, the 44 Porsche and the 12 Porsche and I reckon that's Luca Ludwig involved as well in the number 18 Mercedes, but that Porsche number 304. Interesting insofar as it was, um, um, that is a very brave move as one of our um, Clio Cup cars is recovering. That class and the aim point racing Cayman back on the straight and narrow once more for Jan Kasperlik. Oh, he was off on the grass and kicking up the dust. First BMW in the order is the number 98 Rover racing car of Connor Di Filippi, well before the race start. Don't try and that uh, we, we, we saw him actually uh, going past us when we were down in the pits. You have to, to stop, yes. because you have to uh, to share the uh, the fuel tanks. Uh, it was an early in the number one Porsche. Yeah, right rear tire, and it makes the car really by angle leading. But we now have a problem Ooh. for uh, the 31 Ferrari, 31st place Ferrari, the number 55 car, and this Johnny is the team known as Octane. Well, and in fact, don't we, Paul, don't we lose that at minimum? Ooh, was a contact on the Grand Prix track Very almost good. for Martin Raginger? Yeah. And they're going into a code 60 yes. because of the what's left of the... Grew so much, not entirely sure. Raffaele Marcello showing us in his... Philip Eng was quicker last time round, but not enough to uh, stop the lap rest and latching onto back. Even when I the am, snow comes. I am right out there on the edge. Don't the, you worry. You know, the... Uh, is back to fourth but again the gap between them is oh he's hit him so the gap between them is absolutely nothing, nothing. at all no the bmw ran into the back of the audi as they caught ah they caught the porsche can you read the number it's been no, toured it's in tow. by one of the creventic there's the they've got two the red white and black car and the white black and red car and yeah, 76 the, is yeah. the uh is the Yes, no, uh, I, I saw her when I was yeah. down on the grid and uh, said a quick hello to her. Uh, but she's not in listed on any of the cars. It's the, uh, the two Fricadelli Porsches that she... Five-door front-wheel drive car. Well, there are four doors on a Veloster. There happens to be one on the driver's side, two on the passenger side, and one on the boot. Yeah. So it, this race only night time. Yeah, you have to... Oh, and we just see the Glickenhaus catching the Rover the last couple of days. That would have been the end of their race. And there's somebody under tow. Looks like the pros for the race weekends we've done in this mega month, mega, mega two months. Well, uh, and we've got a 24-hour race coming up uh, at the beginning of July. Well, yes, that, that a few years ago when we first, I think, tried to go through the night. Uh, got a big driver's left arm core and then straight back out again. Now, did he do that on his own or did he oh, get help? No. He yeah. was very close with another Cayman. It's the 131 car, the VDOL sponsored car. Oh, and it's the fourth driver, Arimov. Is, he's from Kerpen. Is that nearby Kerpen, Ke as in five kilometers from here? Yes. He, Ooh, oh, something locked up at the back of that car, Martin. Yep. As he came down, there is a down. Being driven early on by, uh, who's, uh, oh, by Magic. Matteo Jamine, yes, you're right. uh, at the moment. And it's just, oh, oh, something went very wrong with that car. That's that's blown an oh. engine coming out down the hill towards the, and that, I mean, that is the that is the new body style of the, the I-30. That's a fastback, yes. This, well, there's a grey one outside in a box, um, which... Still behind the wheel of the 170, took that lead. The demise of a couple of cars around it, but has built up a four on the circuit in his PR. It really has been a horrible time for BMW. We'll pick up the details for that and there'll be another hourly update in 56 minutes time. It might be a Lexus actually. Oh uh, yeah, a 19 and 20 Lexus. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, That's what it is. Mm. It, it, um,
the car that he shares with Pieces, Haas and Jürgen this is what happened. Schulten and Volker Strijek. Oh. oh, and he just nailed a oh, couple of cars. cars. Two so, cars. So one was, was that a steering failure to start with? It's the MSC Zinzig AV. Eduardo Romanelli was leading that class in the VW Golf 5 R Line GTI. That's another class leader on the back. Track Two flatbeds. Out there. Two flatbeds. And it was side by side from Estrick. No, that's the one. This is the wood nine. effect BMW that I was trying to describe earlier on in the week. Uh, big drama now for the 238 BMW and also need to talk specifically for this race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, that's all oh, that's different as there's an Aston 40 and that's the man filter liveried car. Oh, and we've got the car off. It's Matt Campbell. Matt Campbell has gone off to driver's right and that's the run down to Nardle, uh, driving very well but trying to keep that Porsche behind him and just behind him Ooh. is Luis uh, Felipe Fernandez in the Glickenhaus number 705 so it's a three-way battle that's going on there a huge accident on the dock Burden now doing some stretches probably feeling uh, the pain of a hang on a minute only four entries in TCR so it is yeah, fourth place right now, so I mean, there's still a chance of a podium for the 170 car. Hey, you've raced with Ricky Kuma, and whenever I see you guys racing, I always think, fly, where, where not to go, where to place the car to allow the traffic by. Correct. Uh, moving on down to V4, uh, moving on up to V4, that is Philip Kowalski at uh, the wheel of the E90 BMW 325i, run by Pixum Team Adrenaline Motorsports. And inside the yeah. top 10, 7th, yeah. 11th. The way that we cycle through the pit stops. So Nine. That is the Render Drive Familiar Racing Porsche, which was leading the SB8 class. Yes. Last time I looked. In 30th place overall, you're right. Yeah. So that's uh, faster. No, it's, te it's temperature. temperature because, yeah, drive a bit faster. Air temperature tends to Number be, one yeah. is. If they haven't got any light, of course, that's the half the problem. Their so garage the number uh, will be. Oh, list again. Too many bits of paper here. Oh, there's somebody's been in the fence. There's been a very big accident. Listen, living here, but there's an extreme lack of motorsports. I'll be taking notes for my sim race at the Nürburgring uh, later this week. Hashtag N24RSL at RSL Studio. Here's the pass. Oh, the lad can cover that gap. No, uh, I mean, uh, uh, however, it would it would be a shorter stop. So exactly fewer litres, which means a much shorter stop. Yes, I mean, it's not a case of fewer litres as such making it the times in the UK for the last couple of weeks. And uh, I think the temperature is going um, What's the number of the car? Let's see if we can find it. Is this on the Grand Prix circuit? It is. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. definitely on the it's Grand Prix It's a 94 circuit. car. So there you go. Well spotted car. 94. It is, yeah, he, due to the fact that the number 14 uh, Car is on a, this different schedule on its pit yeah. stops, uh, Martin. That but, was work. <laughs> that was familiarising <laughs> ourselves exactly. with the circuit. Exactly. In, in dark, uh, I even uh, did uh, darkness uh, laps uh, last uh, night. How do you apply for one of these jobs? Yes. <laughs> but but the, the point being, in in At Wayne Moore's car, you mentioned Wayne Moore's mount, and I had this sort of view. Seconds is now down to barely a couple of seconds, as we've just had a little moment in the. Pats and back, and yeah, that's that really and utterly is worth that investment because oh, no. all with a right front issue. Oh. Now that looks as soon as any lock is put in. Yeah. Oh, it's been off. It's, it's David, oh, it's both sides. It's David Drinkwater at the wheel of that. Oh, car is it? Yes. Th that was at uh, was three minutes, although yeah. uh, it was under two minutes uh, a little while ago, but partly as a result of the. Um, the penalty that number 48 Mercedes had to take and actually yeah he and went he's gone straight on it the first the corner hook. yeah he, did uh, he hit the wall oh yes he did yeah but he he failed to negotiate the right handy bit of the right left oh uh, big moment for the man filter oh and i think they kind of worked together a little bit to uh, get the uh -oh. um, number 50 Daniel, nice to hear from you mm. haven't heard you for a, a little while i'm going to retweet this surprise announcement this weekend from the uh, Nürburgring N24 is off goes the number six in the lower portion of the top ten not too long ago I mean probably five or six hours oh there was a sideways glad that's for the Porsche quite possibly and that was at the bottom of the hill fairly shortly and the Porsche that connected oh. with the Ford problem 
for, and was this contact for the number 15 car collection, Audi, with one of the Care for Climate Porsches. Is that a Care for the Climate Porsche? It's a Cayman rather than being a cup car. It does look to be in a the right sort of livery to be an alternatively fuelled car. No, it's, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's an honour. Um, I'm, I'm, it's an honour that I'm very, very proud. proud uh, second place overall, SP4, the BMW E90, uh, car 325 is 96th overall. SP5 is the uh, the thousand racing and events BMW M1. It's the uh, car 84. It's in 103rd place. Announced that there was a spirit of the race award, um, but a car that was getting uh, some voting features. Uh, yeah, we all, uh, all we can see is the underside uh, of the car. Oh, Maxi Gertz in the wall, and this is live action. Maxi Gertz in the man filter. Mercedes running in. Eight minutes now to go, and. What happened at Arenberg a moment ago? That's a Porsche K3 yeah, yeah, yeah. all together now. Three and Three this is battle. the difficulty with oh, Dries Van Tor caught oh. the back of the 306 Porsche Cayman, which nerfed it into a half speed as well. 75, Jim Broke, and still racing and still keen to get more 24 hour races under his belt as we got Dr his uh, due title. Uh, a problem for. The and obviously that work going on on the Lamborghini. What was the body language, Joe? I wasn't the, watching. The body language was just um, um, not quite smiley as Franz Conrad, even in even when the chips are down. He's having just taken over from Jamie Chadwick. Is Peter Kate in car number 37? That's the uh, the road to Kittleback. Under, underneath, uh, good place to park there. Um, Anti racing. But it's the team that didn't, or the car that didn't win last year. He, lit, he's, he was there at Tiergarten. He literally could see nothing. He was zigzagging between grass and grass across the track at one of the fastest parts of the circuit. And he's going to drive into the pit wall. He drives straight into the end of the pit wall because he couldn't see where he was going. And now the car is jammed. will be his. And it is Flansgarten. He turns in underneath the camera and doesn't make it out on the exit. Brunchen. It's Brunchen. Gabrielli Piano. Uh, Gabrielli Piano. And uh, right rear puncture. It is a right rear and 